Mary Jo is a food service supervisor at Nessicus Middle School in Dalton, Massachusetts. She will be demonstrating the safe procedures for operating a steam jacketed kettle. Because you will be working with hot steam equipment, using and cleaning a steam jacketed kettle can be dangerous. Please review the segment on electrical and gas safety before using this piece of equipment. This illustration shows the parts of the steam jacketed kettle that you should know. Before using a steam jacketed kettle, you need to follow a few general safety guidelines. Do not wear loose clothing or jewelry because they can get caught in the equipment. Before starting or changing food preparation tasks, wash your hands. Follow the food code and your standard operating procedures for glove use. And be sure all equipment, pans and utensils are clean and sanitized. Avoid contact with the steam escaping from the steam jacketed kettle. Water may drip on the floor while you're working. This makes the floor slippery and someone could fall. Mop water around the kettle immediately. Now, Mary Jo is going to show you how to safely use the steam jacketed kettle to make spaghetti sauce. If applicable, check that the machine power sources are off. Check the water level indicator to make sure that there is the appropriate amount of water in the machine. Check the pressure gauge to make sure that it is at the correct pressure per square inch PSI for your model. If it is near zero, the machine will not work properly. Place food to be cooked into the kettle. Do not overload the kettle. Turn the machine on and turn the thermostat to the recommended temperature. Close the cover. Anytime you open the cover, let coworkers know, carefully lift it standing to the side of the kettle and using the handle to protect yourself from the steam. When done, shut off the machine. To do this, first turn the thermostat off, then turn the power off. Next, empty the food from the kettle according to the kettle type or standard operating procedures. For a stationary kettle, drain the product through a drain valve. Ladle it out, or if you used a basket insert, lift the basket straight up. For a tilting kettle, put the container on a flat, sturdy surface, stand to the side, and crank the handle forward slowly to keep the food from splashing out and causing burns. Some food service operations may tilt the kettle forward slightly and ladle the food out into the pan. Safe Cleaning Directions when you finish using the steam jacketed kettle, clean and sanitize it to prevent cross contamination. Follow lockout, tagout procedures. Check that the machine is off. Fill the kettle with warm water and allow it to soak while it cools. While the kettle is still warm, pour off or drain the water. Take out the screen. Wash with warm water and mild detergent. Use a brush to clean the drain valve and take out the drain valve parts. Wipe the kettle on the inside and the outside with a brush or cloth. Do not use steel wool or metal sponge. Then, rinse the kettle and allow it to air dry. Wash, rinse and sanitize the strainer and drain valve parts in the three compartment sink. Sanitizing time will depend on the type of sanitizer used. Check your operation standard operating procedures. Reassemble the kettle. If you believe your steam jacketed kettle is not working properly, tell your supervisor. Never try to fix it yourself or ask anyone who is not trained. This concludes the steam jacketed kettle segment of the training. Please take a few minutes to answer the review questions provided by your supervisor. You should get a demonstration in addition to this training to ensure your safety when using the equipment. If you have any questions or need more help to safely operate the equipment, ask your supervisor. Remember that steam jacketed kettles may be different and you should always refer to the user's manual provided by the manufacturer for more specific instructions or ask your supervisor.